Emergency situations, whether wildfires or earthquakes or some other cause, are a very real and constant threat that we live with in Southern California. Knowing what to do when one occurs and what to do before it happens can make a big difference in your safety and may even help save your life. Two of the most important things you can do to prepare are assemble an emergency supply kit and have a personal emergency plan for your family. Usually when emergencies happen, you don't have time to shop or search for the supplies you'll likely need if power goes out or you have to evacuate. So you'll want to keep the essentials on hand. These are some recommendations, but you'll want to modify this based on your specific needs. A three-day water supply and canned or packaged food that won't spoil. A change of clothing and shoes for everyone. First aid kit, toiletries and prescription medications. Blankets or sleeping bags. Battery-powered radio and flashlight with extra batteries. Extra keys to your house and car. Special items for infants, elderly, or disabled family members. And if you have pets, you'll need food, a transport carrier, and leash. It's a good idea to keep your supplies in durable, waterproof containers like backpacks or plastic tubs. Periodically, you should review and update your emergency supply kit to make sure items are fresh and everything is in good working order. Make a list of essential personal items to take if you need to evacuate. Keep your list handy and have some sturdy boxes ready for packing. Include important documents like birth certificates, passports, and insurance policies, personal phone and address books, as well as tax returns, school and vaccination records, photo albums, computer hard drives, laptops, and external drives, cell phones, chargers, and other portable electronics. Take some cash in case ATMs are out of service and don't forget other important things like jewelry and your child's favorite toy. If there's time, you may want to take additional items, but if time is short, the priority should be those things with the most value or those things that are irreplaceable. Never compromise anyone's safety for personal belongings. An emergency or evacuation plan is important so everyone in your family knows what to do and what to expect. It's a good idea to involve your children in the planning. It'll help them understand what they might need to do. An emergency may happen when you're home, so plan how you'll get out of the neighborhood, but also learn alternate routes in case the usual way becomes blocked. Plan for how you'll transport any pets or domestic animals on your property. Choose a relative or friend as an out-of-area contact that family members can use to relay information. During an emergency, long-distance phone systems often work while local communications are overloaded. And since you may not be home when an emergency happens, make arrangements in advance for people or pets that may be home when you're not. If authorities must close roads for safety, you may not be able to enter. With a little planning up front, you and your family should be prepared for any type of emergency. For more information on how to plan for emergencies, visit sdge.com safety.